Hi candidates, this is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote and wanted to give you a quick update on our partnership with the National Student Parent Mock Election. So this year we'll be facilitating the National Student Parent Mock Elections online ballots. And the National Student Parent Mock Election is the oldest and largest student mock election in the country. It's served over 50 million students and teachers since 1980. Uh, and we're anticipating somewhere between uh, 5 million and 10 million uh, students accessing the online ballots this year. So the way that it works is that the students will come up here and they'll click on you know these voting instructions to sign up uh, and then they'll walk through here and they'll sign up for the mock election uh, and then I'll just use my ballot for this demo um, and then they'll get a ballot here and the ballot will you know say the student parent mock election uh, but the profiles will be the same. So if you have a profile built on the general Win My Vote site, uh, then it will be the same profile that's just copied over to the student mock election site. Um, so we're suggesting you know, a couple things. One, uh, that the uh, candidates that have the pages uh, that are built out um, to customize one of these issues between the week of October 28th and November 3rd, uh, addressing the students directly and I can give you a quick example uh, of that. Um, so this is Justin Trudeau's uh, video uh, to the Canadian student mock election. Safe and affordable places to live, childcare, public transit, jobs, training, and our environment. Your parents will be able to spend less time on the road commuting to work and more time with their families. Our air and drinking water will be cleaner and it'll be easier for you to find a summer job and for your grandparents to retire. And with that, it's very simple to, uh, to update that issue. Just do a copy and paste of that URL that you want to use and you place it right in here where it says video and then you just put it right in there. And I'll even do this real quickly, just this is a demo account. So and I'll click there and then you can see that that changed and then now the user will be looking at this video. If Canadians elect a Liberal government, I believe... And that's it. Uh, for those candidates that don't have an account, you'll still be featured on the mock election ballot. It'll just be your name and then uh, an image if if one's available and, and we can find it. We just unfortunately don't have the time to, to build out uh, the rest of the pro uh, profiles. Uh, we're anticipating you know a couple thousand candidates to be on uh, on the ballot. Um, if you don't have a uh, win my vote uh, candidate profile and you want to build one, um, they're very simple to build. You can I'll show you real quickly. This is the home page. Um, so you land here and you can click on four candidates. If you already have uh, an account that's just a voter account, uh, then you'll see in the right hand margin uh, there'll be an option there where you can click to become a candidate. Uh, but if you don't have any account at all, you can create both a voter and a candidate account at the same time by just clicking this. It's four candidates. You do a test here. And you choose an email. You see that I've done quite a few demos here. You gotta pick a unique one. And your zip code. And then your zip code will identify you in the state count and excuse me, in the city, county, state, and country that you're in. Uh, and sometimes there's some overlap, so you gotta make sure you get into the right districts there. Um, and you can put your party in there if you want. Uh, right now, this uh, is for you know the general election, so you can put it in in other places, or you can choose it either way. Uh, and then you sign up. You can again put those in there, or you can skip them. And then it will bring you to the ballots on Win My Vote that you're eligible to run in. And you can click on this one, and you can see that there's the empty spots here in order for you to build. A profile and jump you know, into this race. And again, what you're looking at is the general win my vote ballot. So let's say you wanted to run for 
House of Representatives District 12. You simply click that open spot. You can see here that you can edit it right here on the page. And you can crop this a little bit. Oops, sorry about that. Do that one again. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Um, here you can just, for volunteer, you can just put a URL in there to your website. If you have a website set up for volunteers, it will take them directly there when they click on that. Um, this is a button to set up uh, for online donations, and we're uh, partnering with a company called Stripe that's uh, allows you to just type in your information, your bank account, and where you want the money to go to. Um, and then there's a small questionnaire for the donor to make sure that um, we meet all the regulations. So you can set that up and that button will be uh, displayed there. Um, this is your main message here. And you can use an image or text or video, anything you want. So we'll use a video and for purposes of, of time, we'll use Justin Trudeau's uh, video and then it will play right in here. If Canadians elect a liberal... And this is a spot for your uh, Twitter feed, and we'll just type in your Twitter handle there, and then you know your, your tweets will appear here in real time, and the user can also uh, drill down and, and get to your, uh, your Twitter account very easily. Um, and then here are the issue statements uh, that you can build uh, just like uh, we showed you earlier. Uh, and that is it. And then when you uh, publish your profile, that is where you'll be charged $99 uh, to get on the ballot. So you can build the candidate profile for free, but entering the ballot is $99. And the main reason we did that was just to make sure that we verified that you are that candidate um, and that you know we don't have uh, you know lots of people running uh, for um, you know, for mayor of whatever city, um, uh, clogging it up and, and it becomes a horrible user experience. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Um, you can reach out to me at support at winmyvote.com and in the subject line put candidate support uh, and we can get to you right away. Um, and then a couple of quick tips on how to use your uh, profile. Uh, we suggest that you build your profile out and you then reach out to your constituents in your uh, districts and you ask them to sign up you know for win my vote um, and and favorite you if they you know like what they hear uh, and when they do that uh, and, it's, and for voters it's completely free and when, let's say for example if I'm a voter and I wanted to uh, favorite Gary Johnson I would click on Gary Johnson his nameplate would turn green and then uh, I would be able to see the number of favorites that he has on this ballot. So from a candidate standpoint, you can measure um, your response. If you send it out to uh, 1,000 uh, voters and 500 of them sign up and 250 of them favorite you, you'll be able to then measure that. And you can also see that there's another 250 that have either favored somebody else or um, they're undecided still. And it will allow you to sort of really manage your campaign um, you know, uh, through this tool. Um, the other thing is that you can also reach out to uh, groups and organizations and individuals uh, that you would like uh, to win their endorsement. Um, and you can invite them and tell them to set up a group page. And group pages are free. Uh, and they set up a group page, and maybe it's Moms for Clean Water and Great Schools. They set that up, and then it's very easy for them to walk through and endorse. Uh, candidates that are up here uh, on Win My Vote, and when they do that, I'll give you an example of that, you'll see their endorsement uh, will be uh, right here. So uh, as a voter, I can quickly access that and see that the uh, American Federation of Teachers has endorsed Hillary Clinton. To make her our standard bearer in the Democratic primaries, Hillary Clinton shares our values. And I can say great, and again, I can then, you know, favor that candidate uh, if I want, and that candidate will have uh, the ability to see how they're doing 
you know, on a day by day uh, basis. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please reach out to us at support at winmyvote.com and put uh, candidate uh, support in the subject line and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Uh, thanks. Bye.